Good morning, my name is Terry, and we are at Stark Brothers in Louisiana, Missouri. It is early February, and we are in the process of cutting our sign wood for our grafting needs, which is done in a greenhouse setting. A sign orchard is a block of trees that is grown specifically for cutting scions for grafting or for our budding needs during the summer. There are several different varieties in this block. Uh, this variety is Cortland, and this row of trees is all genetically the same. So once we graft this onto a rootstock, uh, the future trees and the fruit that is produced off the, the tree that we graft will be genetically the same in size, color, flavor, any, any, any of the other characteristics that uh, that variety might have. If I was to go and get a, a Cortland apple and I was to plant that seed from that Cortland apple, you are not gonna have the same fruit as this Cortland apple that this tree produces. Uh, it will not be genetically the, genetically the same and the characteristics will be different. So you have to go and graft or bud to get the clone of this tree. So by growing our own sign orchards, we, are, we have more control of what we're growing. Uh, we know they're true to name. Uh, we do maintenance on these orchards every summer. We monitor them for uh, any fungal issues, uh, viruses, um, insects, and we'll, and we'll take care of those situations wh when it's needed. So it's, it's a routine maintenance throughout the summer that we have to do on these trees. We are looking when we're cutting wood, which these trees get pretty tall, so sometimes we're in the back of a pickup truck cutting. But we are looking for a growth scar. That is the, where the previous year's wood has grown. So this, this growth here grew last year, and this is the previous year's growth. You don't want this. This is old wood, and it will not produce a good graft. Uh, it won't develop properly. You want new, fresh growth from last, that developed last year. So you can just whack it off make, and just leave a little bit left. We do not cut our sign wood in sections like a lot of other people do. Uh, it's our preference because of our size of our rootstocks. We might utilize all of this wood until maybe here. Uh, just depends on the rootstock size that we're utilizing. Uh, so, and we usually make a, a probably a two eye graft onto that rootstock. I'll cut up so much wood because I know the numbers that I need to go and produce. So I'll cut so much percentage of sign wood and then I'll take it into the warehouse and then we'll prep the sign wood for future use. Okay, so you saw the process of what CJ did as far as prepping the sign wood. And so we will take this wood and we will put it in a cooler that we have until we are ready to use it, which will be probably this month once the rootstocks wake up. And this sign wood could last probably three to four months after it's been cut. If you want to grow your own fruit, go to starkbros.com.